and it's time to play Debt. The game show where three debt-laden Americans, just like you, compete to have us pay off all their bills and go home with nothing. <laughs> and now, let's meet today's contestants. I'm Marta, and I'm in debt because I have a wonderful credit card bill to remember my ex-boyfriend by. Hi, I'm Steve, and I'm in debt because of one too many trips to the old homestead in Texas. I'm Deborah, and I'm in debt because I bought a car and a piano in the same year. And now, starting at host, the crown prince of credit, the Duke of Debt, Wink Martindale! Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Thank you very much, and welcome to our show. The country's in debt, you're probably in debt, but most importantly, our three players, Marta, Steve, and Deborah, have come to us with their real-life debt, and one of them just might be lucky enough to get out of it by the end of the show. So let's get this party started. Our first round is general debt, and here are today's categories. You like me. You really like me. Say cheese. Weirdos. Ooh, baby, baby. And let's go to bed. <laughs> Those are the categories. This is an elimination round. Only the two players with the least debt at the end of the round get to move on and have a chance at going home with... Nothing! Deborah, since you've spent less than your opponents in the game of life, you get the honor of selecting our first category. But to make things fair, we're going to even you all out to the average debt amount of the day. That amount is $7,892. Two final reminders before we start. All the questions on debt take the I am, you are format, and you will be penalized for an incorrect answer. Deborah, select the first category, please. I would really like to start with, you like me, you really like me, for minus 150 wins. You said that so well. All of these questions refer to actress Sally Field, as you might imagine. I'm the Field film where Sal and Kevin Klein spoof daytime dramas. Marta? You are soap dish wing. And you have $150 taken off your debt. Good luck. I would like say cheese for $150. You like that category for $150, and here it is. This category is all about photography. I'm an autofocus camera and the mountain home of mythical Greek gods. Steve? You are Olympus. Yes. Mount Olympus. Olympus right. camera. I would like, you like me, you really like me for minus 200, please. All righty, and the question, I'm the blue-eyed actor who sees red because of reporter Sally in absence of malice. Deborah? You are Robert Redford? No. Oh. It's Marta. You are Paul Newman. Paul Wayne. Newman, not Robert Redford. Both very, very handsome, but you picked the wrong one. Marta? I would like you like me, you really like me for minus 250. You really like that category. I'm the film where Sally and Tom Hanks try to make it as stand-up comics. Deborah? You are punchline. This time you're right. Yes, everybody's scored. Still up to you, Deborah. I would like to say cheese for minus 200, Wink. Everybody, I'm a brand of camera and a famous tune by Paca Bell. Deborah? You are canon, Wink. Yes. You have another $200 taken off your bill. Say cheese for minus 250, Wink. I'm the good time name of Kodak's throwaway camera in a box. It's a fun saver, a fun saver. Deborah, select again. How about weirdos for minus 150, Wink? All righty. Players, I'm the crazy train heavy meddler renowned for biting a bat's head in concert. Steve. Ozzy Osbourne, yes. Wink, for $150. I would like, uh, you like me, you really like me for minus 100, please. I'm the terminally cute Sally character who's in love with Beachmaster Moondoggy. Deborah? You are Gidget Wing. Yes, indeed. That one goes back a few years. Say cheese for minus 100, Wing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Say it again, Deborah. Say cheese for minus 100, Wing. Okay, and here's your question. Once plugged by James Garner, I'm the first brand of camera that made instant pics possible. Deborah? You are Polaroid Wing. Absolutely. Nothing but. First time in the category. All the questions in this category are about sleeping, believe it or not. I'm the medical term for someone who's up watching LaToya Jackson infomercials because they can't sleep. Steve. You are an insomniac, right? Absolutely, for a minus 100. All right, let's have uh, Ooh Baby Baby for minus 200, please. This category, remember, all about famous babies. I'm the transatlantic pilot whose baby was kidnapped in a notorious 30s incident. Steve. You are Charles Lindbergh, That is correct for $200. 
would like Ooh Baby Baby for minus 150, please. I'm the Polanski movie where Mama Mia Farrow gives birth to the devil's spawn. You are Rosemary's baby wing. And you are right, Deborah, for $150. Select again, please. I'd like Ooh Baby Baby for minus 250, wing. That's a good one. Our detonator. Deborah, this is the most difficult question on today's board in the opinion of our producers, and because of that, it's worth $500 for whoever gets it right. For $500, toss up, listen carefully. I'm the nickname of the young looking songwriter producer of the Waiting to Exhale soundtrack. Marta. You are Brandy Wink. No. Anybody else? <laughs> Time's up. Baby face. Baby face is the answer. Nobody gets that $500. We have less than two minutes remaining in general debt. Deborah, select again. How about let's go to bed for minus 200, Wink? Okay. All the questions about sleeping. I'm the Washington Irving character who slept for 20 years and woke up with a killer beard and a killer hangover. Steve. You are Rumpelstiltskin, Wink. No, I'm sorry. Oh. Deborah. You are Rip Van Winkle. Wink. That's the correct answer for 200 off your debt. Select let's again. go to bed for minus 250, Wink. Redefining You Snooze, You Lose, I'm the TV movie where Farrah Fawcett sets her abusive spouse's bed on fire. Deborah. You are the burning bed, Wink. Yes, the award-winning show. I'd like Let's Go to Bed for minus 100, Wink. I'm the term describing eye activity during dreams that shares its initials with Michael Stipes's band. Deborah. You are R-E-M, Wink. Yes, rapid eye movement. <laughs> Very good. Select again. I'd like Weirdos for minus 200, Wink. She's So Unusual was the name of my smash debut album. No argument here. Marta. You are Tom Jones. Wayne. No, I'm sorry. Anybody else? <coughs> Cindy Lauper. Cindy Lauper. Select again, Deborah. How about Ooh Baby Baby for minus 100, Wink? I'm the baby who fell down a Texas well and the whole world watched my rescue. Deborah. You are Baby Jessica? That is correct. For $100. I'd like Weirdos for minus 250, Wink. I played Marty McFly Sr. in Back to the Future, and I was escorted off Letterman for being just plain creepy. <coughs> Did she get in in time? Yes, Marta. You are Crispin Glover. That is correct for $250. Select me. Um, I would like weirdos for minus 100, Wink. I'm the comic genius behind such song parodies as Eat It and Like a Surgeon. Marta. You are Weird Al Yankovic. Good for $100 off your desk. Select again. Let's stick with weirdos for minus 50, Wink. I'm America's favorite lunatic as seen in such films as Speed, Blue Velvet, and Easy Rider. Steve. You are Dennis Hopper, Wink. Yes, indeed. And that's the end. That's the end of General Debt, and I'm sorry to say that you, Marta, have the highest score, and in this game, that means you are eliminated, but you're not going home empty-handed. Julie, talk to me, please. Sure, Wink. Well, Marta, to help you get back on the road to financial recovery, here's our very own debt piggy bank, along with a $200 savings bond. Go put it in the bank. We'll be back to see Steve and Deborah battle it out for a chance to have us pay off all their debt right after this. Welcome back, everybody. We're down to two players now. Deborah's in the lead with minus $6,642. Steve has minus $7,392. That's a difference of only $750. Bucks. So they're very close. At the end of this round, one of you, the one with the least debt remaining, will have a chance to have us pay off your entire debt. But first, we're going to play gambling debt. In this round, I'll show you a category, and then you'll wager between yourselves to see who can answer the most questions correctly out of five. Category values increase throughout the round, and $300 will be at stake on this first category, which is I Am Woman. Yeah. Hear me right. This category is all about women writers. All right, Steve, since you're behind, you start the bidding, please. All right, um, I can answer in three. Three. All right, Deborah, you want to make it four? I can answer four. Steve, you want to go over uh, the limit? Prove it. All right, Deborah, if you answer four out of five of these, you get the $300 off your debt. If not, Steve gets it. I'm the humorous columnist who wondered, if life is a bowl of cherries, what am I doing in the pit? You are Irma Bombeck. That is correct. The great Irma Bombeck. One down, three to go. I'm the one-hit wonder woman who wrote Gone with the Wind. <coughs> Margaret Mitchell wrote Gone with the Wind. Three to go. You need all three of these. I am the sense and sensibility author 
who would be making tons of cash from film versions of my books if I weren't dead. You are Jane Austen? That is correct. Two to go, Deborah. I'm the best-selling sister of Joan, whose sizzling masterpieces include The Stud and The Bitch. You are Colin. That is correct, Jackie Colin. One to go. I'm the poet who, on the pulse of morning, became a bestseller after I performed it at Clinton's inauguration. You are Maya Angelou. That is correct. You get $300 taken off your debt. Well done, Deborah. Moving on to the $400 category. This one's called The Fascinating World of Hardware Stores. All righty. Deborah. I can answer three, Wink. Steve. Well, I can answer four. Deborah. Prove it. All right. Steve, Prove it. answer four out of five for $400. I'm a tool that shares its name with a singer who was too legit to quit spending money, so he went bankrupt. You are MC Hammer. That is correct, the Hammer Man. Three to go. I'm a screwdriver with four grooves near the tip and what Queen Elizabeth kisses when she smooches her hubby's noggin. You are a four-grooved screwdriver, Wink. No, I'm sorry. You are a Phillips head screwdriver. Phillips head. Darn it. We still have three. You need them all for the 400 bucks. I'm the playing card worth one or eleven and the place with a helpful hardware man. You are an ace, Wayne. That is right. Two down, two to go. I'm the first name of director Full Metal Jacket Kubrick and the hardware company that helps you do things right. You are Stanley, Wayne. That's correct. One to go. When Trent Reznor wants to hammer his angst-ridden message into teenagers, I'm the band he brings together. You are, um... Mm. Nine-inch oh. nails, $400, comes off Deborah's score over there. Oh Nine-inch nails, sorry about that. You needed that one, Steve. Now let's go to the $500 category. This is the Men of Desert Storm. Deborah, the Men of Desert Storm. I can answer three. Steve. I can do four. Deborah. Prove it. Steve, once again, you're asked to prove it. Four out of five will give you the $500. I'm the mother of all losers and the rotten Iraqi president who lost the Gulf War. You are Saddam Hussein. Wait. Correct. Three to go. I'm the retired general who was storming through the Kuwaiti desert with his troops and now storms around his yard with his dogs. You are Norman Schwarzkopf. That is correct. Two down, two to go. I'm the Iraqi refugees who got aid from the U.S. who share their name with what Little Miss Muffet was eating with her way. You are Kurd. Wait. That is correct. Three down, one to go. Because of my war coverage, I'm the bearded CNN journalist whose career lit up like a blitzkrieg. You are Wolf Blitzer. That's Wink. right. That's all you need for that $500. All righty. Now, this is a must-win situation for you, Steve. If you don't get this category, you'll be mathematically eliminated, and Deborah wins the game. It's worth $750. Loser lyrics of the 80s. Steve, start the bidding. Um, I can uh, answer four. Ooh, Deborah. Steve, prove it. Okay. Deborah says, I'm not going to chance this one. Steve, four out of five will keep you alive in the game. All right. I'm the singer with a wet sounding last name who sang the immortal refrain, Get out of my dreams, get into my car. You are Little Miss Muffet, Wink. No. Bad guess. Billy Ocean. Oh, Billy Ocean. Right. Okay. Oh. To stay alive in the game, you need all four of these, Steve. Along with my new bohemians, I pose the age old question. What I am is what I am is what you are or what? You are Edie Raquel. That is correct. Three to go. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey, were the lyrics to my big hit record? You are, um, uh oh, oh, N.T. Johnson. No, Tony Basil. Deborah wins the game. <laughs> Close, but so far. So, Deborah. You made a couple of very good decisions there. You said prove it twice in a row. He couldn't prove it twice in a row, and here you are, our winner. So congratulations to you. That means, Deborah, you're going on to the final round with a chance to have us pay off everything you owe. That's why she's going to smile in a moment. And Steve, <laughs> you're going home with this. Julie, what do you get? Well, Steve, we're not going to pay off your bills, but we are going to give you one of our debt piggy banks and a $500 Let's see that smile there, Deborah. There it is. You can use this money, too, can't you? Oh, yeah. How'd you get into debt? Tell us again. Well, I bought a car when I moved out to L.A., and I bought a piano. 
So those are both pretty big expenses. Big items indeed. So you can use the money. You're going to have a chance to pay off all your debt in a moment. Okay. Steve, things didn't go exactly the way you had hoped on the show. Right. But we thank you for being with us. You're a good thank player you. and a fine contestant on debt. Thank right. you for being with us. And good luck getting out of debt. We'll be back to see if Deborah can move out of the red and into the black right after this commercial message. you down well there's help inside if you'd like to be a contestant on debt and you live in the la area call 213-468-3300 Welcome back to Dead, everybody. Deborah here played the first two rounds, eliminated her opponents, and knocked $2,700 off her debt. And I might say she did it with extreme care and aplomb. Now you've earned the right to have us pay off your entire original debt of $7,545. It's a round we appropriately call Get Out of Debt. If you can answer 10 of these questions in 60 seconds, your debt of $7,545 will be completely wiped out. Are you ready? Okay, let's see what your category is. Rainbow language. All the questions in this category are answered with a color name. Ready? We set your expiration date at 60 seconds, and your time starts now. I'm the color you turn with envy. Green. Yes. Musically speaking, I'm the color of the people eater. Green. No, I'm Purple. the colors of a bruise. Pass. I'm the color of cowards. Pass. I'm the color of a little lie. White. I'm the color of literature's bag of courage. White. No, I'm the color of the 25th anniversary. Silver. Yes, I'm the color of a tide in the Denzel Washington submarine movie. Pass. I'm the color of Olympic champions. Gold. I'm the colorful name for extortion. Black male. Yes, I'm the color of Elvis's suede shoes. Blue. Yes, I'm the color of an aftershave named Velva. Aqua. Yes, I'm the color of Hester Prynne's letter. Scarlet. Yes, I'm the color of your brain matter. Gray. Yes, according to the cliche, I'm the color of the slip you get when you're fired. Pink. Yes, I'm happy colored glasses. What is it? Yes! That's it! to tell you the way you started out rather slowly and passing on a lot of those i wondered and a couple of uh, fairly obvious ones you missed uh musically speaking i'm the color of the people eater purple. that's right the purple people eater uh the colors of a bruise black and blue, blue. uh color of cowards yellow 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 streak color of literature is badge of courage red uh the denzel washington submarine movie crimson crimson tide mm -hmm. yeah who cares, Deborah? You did it. Yeah. By golly, did she do it? Yes! That means we're going to pay off your entire debt of $7,545. Now, because you played the game so well, we're offering you the opportunity to bet your debt. When we selected you to be a player on debt, you told us your specialty category in the world of pop culture was... Sesame Street characters. Before the show, we prepared one question about Sesame Street characters. And if you can answer the question correctly, we'll not only pay off your debt of $7,545, we'll give you that same amount in cash. And here it is in this briefcase with our debt security guard, Smiling Jack. However, if you go for it and miss, you know you'll be back $7,545 in the hole, Deborah. It's a big risk, but it's a big payoff. We're going to give you a little time to think on it as we take our final commercial break. We'll be right back, everybody. Scientists. Time for another big money moment on debt. Welcome back to debt, everybody. Well, here she is, Deborah. The moment for your decision is upon you. You've had some time to think it over. If you go for it, this question, in this case, will be worth fifteen thousand ninety dollars. So, what's it going to be? Do you want to risk it all, go for the big payoff, or stop now and walk away with your bills paid off? They say go for it. My little sisters will kill me if I don't go for Sesame Street. So I'm going to go for it. You are going to go for it. Okay. Go for it. It's your favorite category, Sesame Street characters. You've got 10 seconds to give me an answer when I ask this question. So, Deborah, I wish you the very best of luck. Sesame Street characters, here's your question. I am the name of the Muppeteer who currently performs the characters Big Bird and Oscar the Grouch on the Sesame Street TV series. 
You are Carol Finney. Wait. You are $15,090 rich. Yes! Congratulations to you. That's her money now. That's her to keep. That's all the time we have left. We're going to be back next time with three more big spenders like this. And we'll do our best to help them get out of... Yeah. I'm Wink Martindale. Goodbye, everybody. Promotional consideration provided by The Island. Fine, quick made cooking accessories for all your round cooking, indoors or out. Enjoy the high performance of superior quality products from The Island. Sleepo Loungers, excellent quality lounger designed for maximum plus comfort and durability with extra lumbar support. Creative and innovative styling and designer fabric for people loungers. Since 1903, Astro Six has been the premier name in men's formal wear. To look their best, more and more stars choose Astro Six. It's what to be in when you're out. Coming up, Adam West, a.k.a. Batman, and Julie Newmar, the original Catwoman, appear on Hope and Gloria next. Tonight at 9, after a stripper is killed, the cover-up begins. Brian Dennehy and Charles Dutton star in Jack Reed, A Search for Justice, on the Lifetime Evening Movie.